Jezero was selected for this mission because it meets several key mission goals. It allows us to explore an ancient habitable environment. It allows us to seek evidence of possible Martian life in rocks deposited at that time, about three and a half billion years ago. And I want to emphasize this mission is not looking for extant life, things that are alive today. Instead, we're looking into the very distant past when Mars's climate was very different than it is today. The mission is proceeding extremely well. We are making very good progress at understanding the geologic history, finding some surprises in the history of the crater. And we are also making good progress in collecting this suite of samples for the Mars sample return effort. And what you're going to hear uh, is that the suite of samples that we have collected so far is sufficiently good that we are now considering them pu putting down a subset of them on the surface of Mars as a target for the future missions to pick up and bring back. it's clear that we are uncovering a bigger story that's happening in Jezero Crater. So we found signals that we think are possibly from organic matter on every target that we've observed to Sher with Sherlock to date. And this isn't really unexpected. It aligns with what we've learned from studies on Earth and Martian meteorites and from Mars research from our sibling rover, Curiosity. However, it does say that organics seem to persist in the very harsh Martian surface environment, which is very exciting for us. And the reality is the burden of proof for establishing life on another planet is very, very high. And it seems unlikely to most of us that the evidence will be so compelling that we will be able to do that. And I just want to make the point, you know, the rover can only make the kinds of observations that we thought of building into the rover years ago. That's very different than terrestrial laboratories where you can say, well, if we just make this kind of observation, some new thing that we hadn't thought of, that'll answer the question. Rover can't do that because the rover only has what it has. So this is one of the reasons why bringing samples back to Earth is, is so important. So in, in, in answer to that question, I think it's not very likely that we will make a, a definitive detection of life. About the best we are likely to be able to do is this potential uh, detection. <laughs>